guys, so 10 repetition, 10 reps. So the first one, which is 10 reps, which will be five each side, single leg deadlift. So from here, you're going to stay nice and tall. Leg can either be straight or bent, and you're going to, if you're bending, keep your body horizontal and come down to the ground here. You can have a slight bend in this knee. You want to hold balance. From here, once you head down to the ground, you can extend the leg if you want or straighten the leg. Then you're going to come back up. And that's one. If you're having trouble with balance, you either put blocks or you touch the ground to reset and then come back up. Two. Okay, so just so you can see the other side. So the leg is either slightly bent or straight. This leg is either bent or straight. That is up to you. Keeping your body horizontal. Again, you'll do five on this side. So we're not rotating up. We're not twisting on down like this, okay? We're really keeping that plane of movement. So it's gonna be all the way down, nice and slow and controlled. You can touch if you want and up, okay? So the plane of movement again is not off like this, like a half moon, and it's not rotating like this. It's a real straight plane of movement coming down. And the repetitions body weight will be like this two all the way to five that side and that side and then next what you're going to do is you're going to do a walkout plank for five so you're going to come down either straight leg or bent legs and you're going to walk on out extend to an extended plank here and walk on back and that's one now with the extended plank just so you can see the core you're walking on out now from here you're not too high up you're not arched you're not rounded here, you're extended out here. Straight line, so see how my booty is unsqueezed? Squeeze the booty. Ribs connect to hips to squeeze the booty. Legs come long and push together, active legs. Arms are active, pushing up, and extend out without dipping or coming too high. And then walking back without too much rotational movement. And you'll do five repetitions. If that is too hard, you'll come out, you will drop to your knees and you'll extend out. And then you'll come back here. And you can see my core is really working. Remember, you can have bent legs when you come here. And you'll do your five repetitions. Now, if we add the weight, you're gonna grab the weight here. You're gonna hold it in both hands. This is 20 kilos, you can go lighter. And you're gonna come on down Touch the ground, keeping straight and coming up. And when you come up, push your hips a little bit forward, okay? To really get that straight line. Two, I like to go down about where my feet are when I have such a heavy weight, just don't knock your toes. <laughs> and the same thing here on the other side. One side will be more difficult because your balance won't be the same on each side, doing five repetitions. You're really going to feel glute activation because glute activation comes when we do hip-based movements as opposed to knee-based movements. So five repetitions with the weights. Then the ab sliding with a flexi disc here. You can link it below. Hands are to make it harder like this, make it easier, wider. You could use a sock to slide out on as well. So if you don't have a flexi disc, you can slide out like this, okay? Now, hands are here. Make sure your arms are straight and they're in this position. So let me slide out here. And I'm gonna slide all the way out. See my arms extend overhead here and coming back. Now let's go from the side. Keep yourself nice and strong in the core. So none of this or none of this. Nice neutral core. Arms straight, external rotation for the arms. Coming out, out, out as far as you can. It may be here and you stop and you come back. Or you may have more length and you're coming all the way down here between the arms and up. Now when you get all the way down, make sure you don't do this, okay? You still want that active core here, okay? Then you do five repetitions. So set your timer for 15 minutes. Do as many rounds as possible, count the amount of reps, and then do it next week and see if you get better and slowly grow. So if you like these types of workouts, comment below and let me know what you're looking for. And also don't forget to 
set yourself up to receive notifications, ring the bell, subscribe, or thumbs up to let everyone know that this is a good workout for them. Have a great day. Namaste.